guys, it's Terry with Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care, and I'm here with Hazel. Um, Hazel is our latest board and train. She's a five to five and a half month old lab mix. Um, she looks like she may get some almost Rhodesian Ridge back in her or something. She's pretty big for five months old. But uh, anyway, she's here with us with, for some just general, you know, young dog behaviors, typical stuff, um, jumping, pulling on the leash, overexcited behavior, whining, um, counter surfing, demanding attention, all that good stuff uh, you, know, you typically see out of young dogs. So um, we're gonna be working with her and getting her um, into a calmer state of mind, a more obedient state of mind. Um, she's very sweet, she's got a sweet face and sweet eyes. Um, a lot of whining going on. Again, it is day one, but um, we're going to do some kennel training, but also one thing I wanted to talk about real quick to share with you guys. So, you know, if you're using a, a prong collar with your dog, which is fine, um, nothing wrong with a prong collar, they're great. Uh, they're actually distributing the pressure evenly around the dog's neck as opposed to all on the front if you're using a harness or a, or a regular collar or a slip leash. But what's important is to have the proper size and, and proper fit of a prong collar, all right? So oftentimes people think when they have a dog, again, she's five months old, or I'm sure they're expecting her to get pretty big, um, is to have a collar that is way too big, all right? This looks like the right size for this dog, you know, if you didn't, if you didn't know better, but you really don't need this large uh, of a collar. And in fact, it's probably, it's probably a three point, it looks like a 3.0, um, it's also, you know, the fit is wrong, so it's loose, it's hanging low. Um, when she got here, it was actually down below her regular collar. So let's real quick talk about, go over what, what is the proper fit um, uh, of how, if you're gonna use a prong collar, okay? And also you need to know how to use a prong collar. There's a proper way to use it and introduce it to the dog. Um, we're not gonna talk about that, we're just strictly gonna talk about the fit. So. So again, this looks like a 3.0, which is just the gauge of the, the thickness of the metal itself. Um, this is a 2.25, and you can see it's a lot thinner than this right here. So it's much lighter weight on the dog's neck. A prong collar is meant to be worn snug and up high, and so a lot less weight, so, so it's more likely to stay up where it's meant to be. Uh, so I'm gonna put this on her and you're gonna see the difference. Um, again, if I pull on this, you know, it, it snugs up, obviously, but when I'm not pulling, you see how it's hanging way down here? Um, and again, it was back here. It should be in front, it should be the first thing. So if you're using a prong collar, it should be at the top of the dog's neck, right under their chin and right behind their ears, basically. And then yes, having a regular collar is a good idea. Um, because you actually want to attach a carabiner from your prong collar. There's an O-ring, which is just a circle, from that to your regular collar as a safety backup. It's rare, but it happens sometimes that a prong collar comes open or the, this one has a quick release clasp on it. It can come open. And if that happens, when you have that, that carabiner as a, as a safety backup, if, the, if this prong collar came off, you're still attached to the dog because it's attached to the regular collar. So that's always a good idea. Um, a carabiner is these things right here, okay? Um, and you want a good heavy duty one, which her, her mom brought one. I just haven't put it on yet because I'm gonna switch out collars. So anyway, um, so this is a 2.25 and this is good for most dogs. I mean, unless you have like a mastiff or something, you know, then you can go up to a 3.0. Three but, um, you know, these come in 3.25 and 4.0. I don't know any dog that would ever need a 3.25 or a 4.0 um, gauge. So these work for, you know, just about every dog, a 2.25. You might need to add more lengths, you know, because this is, they come in different lengths, um, which just means more lengths, but the, the thickness of the metal is the same on a 2.25, it's 2.25 millimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on her. And you're gonna see, so if you see this, let's go, um, you know, how big and how heavy and how thick it is versus this one. Good. Okay, 
there for a moment. I think she was thinking I was wanting her to jump up on me. So I'm gonna put this on. Let's see if your ears in the way. There we go. And now you can see, hopefully you can see the difference. Come over here. between the one that's at the top. Let's go. Sit. Good. And the one that's at the bottom. Okay, much lower profile, um, and it will actually work better. I'm gonna remove her leash from the, the, the one that she had on and put it on the new one. Uh, and it's, it, it fits as it is. This just happens to fit perfectly. The length that it is so you know if you if it's too small you need to add some links or get a longer one if it's too large it's um you just take some links out okay so now i can take this one off there we go that's pretty pretty big and again it's just you know owners don't know better um what to get they think big dog big collar but you really don't need it this works just fine um, it's less weight on your dog. So I am going to attach a carabiner from the O-ring to the, the heavy duty link on the regular collar and then we'll have a good fit. Okay. So anyway, Hazel, I just wanted to share that with you. We're going to do some kennel training in a moment. Um, but share that with that little tidbit of information with you. You know, if you ever have any questions about fit or size of a remote collar or of a prong collar, you can absolutely reach out to us, info at gooddogcoaching.com, info at gooddogcoaching.com, or you can post in the comment section, and always happy to help you answer any questions you might have. All right, take care. Let's go.